Right, are you ready to go, James? Yeah, in a minute. Hang on. This is the easy petrol post driver. Yes, a petrol-powered post banger. You know, to replace like a drive or a hand banger, whatever you want to call it. This is designed to make it a lot easier for you. So today, we are going to check it out. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please subscribe. Tested by Machinery Nation. So who and what is this designed for? Well, pretty much anyone who wants to drive in a pole into the ground. Yes, it could be fencing stakes, exactly what we're using it for today, but also marquee companies to bang the posts in, scaffolding companies to drive scaffold poles into the ground, or it could be for the clip-ex fencing, the metal clip-ex fencing you have, instead of using wooden posts. It's got many, many uses. But yes, today we are going to drive in some wooden stakes as if we were a farmer. So it's a bit frosty today so we're going to go to the lowlands and meet my in-laws because they've got some fencing that they need to do in an awkward place where you can't get a tractor and post banger into we're going to try it out and see if it's suitable for fencing repairs for a farmer and it's made in australia by a company called christy so i thought as it's the hardest frost we've had for a while we would try out the pilot hole adapter here where it's probably harder than where we're going so we're going to pop this in the ground it's just an added extra you can get Dig out like a six inch pilot hole and then put your stake in. Let's give it a go. We've actually started and warm. Ho oh, oh, let's give it a go. <laughs> right, I don't want to go any deeper. I've probably gone too deep anyway. And then you've got a nice metal pole here, right? That you use to get, oh, oh, that's coming out a lot easier than I thought it was. So if we've gone in there, like nine inches? Whew, right, let's put the stake in. Ha, it should fly in now. Will it? Surely. Stake in, right, let's bump her in. On. Ah, oh, you gotta love the little Honda engines. The same engine they put on their brush cutters and their strimmers, you know. They do do handle extensions on these, so you can have bigger handles, so you can hold it down here rather than up there, or the other way around, so you can hold it down lower. Easy going. Easy. Look at that. Swing off of them. Do you think, obviously, if I was in a fence, I'd put it down here, but I need to get this out again in a minute. Right, let's crack on to a valley in Devon where it's hopefully not as frosty as it is here. So what I needed was some awkward fencing. So I spoke to George and Lee and they said, yeah, come on down. But they have not seen what I've brought for them to use yet because they think it might be a big trap, the post banger, but oh no. So we've got this bit behind us here, which is only a short stretch, but it proves the point that this sort of machine is perfect for a farmer so that they can do repairs and odd bits around without having to take a tractor across fields, making a mess. They can just go in nice and easy and get the job done. Right, let's get on and do some post banging. Right, Lee, what did you expect I was going to bring down to play with today? Well, I thought we might have had a tractor-mounted post bumper. Something in a box is probably going to be hard work, but we shall see what happens. Right, <laughs> it's the first time we've seen it. So, here it is, mate. That is what we're using today. That's looking bigger than I thought it might have been. Oh, there we go. That's always an exciting <laughs> time of day, isn't it, eh? There we go. Do you want to get on the end of that one or oh, the end of the drive -all? I think I'll take this one on. Yeah? There yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. Already positive. So this is the Easy Petrol Post Driver, and it comes with the Honda GX35cc engine, which is four strokes. So you haven't got to worry about mixing the fuel. It's just straight fuel, straight in, but keep an eye on the oil level. But it comes with a cup system. So on the bottom of the machine, you have different size cups. It's got two round cups, which you can take the insides out to make them bigger. It goes up to 100 mil or four inch posts. And it's also got the square cups. So you've got the square cup and the rectangle cup for different sized posts when you're posting railing. Let's get it fueled up and crack on. Right, I'm going to put Aspen fuel in it because, well, why wouldn't you? It's the best stuff on the market. Instead of using petrol, it's an alkalite fuel. So I do love Aspen, but for something like a petrol post driver that you're not going to be using sort of every week of the year, with modern fuel going as stale as it does so quickly, this is a good option. Because you can put it in the tank and it'll stay in there for up to five years without going off compared to like, what, like two or three months on modern fuel. Tip it up. So this is an ideal place for this machine because behind us is a steep slope. And I mean, it is steep as a house roof, not somewhere you're gonna really wanna drive a machine in the winter. So under the trees, out the way, where you can't get a machine as easily as some big bangers, this is the ideal thing. But first of all, a bit like a drive you you've still got to whittle out your hole and dig your hole first. So you've got to put your bar iron in and dig out your hole as you would with the drive ready for your stake. 
Oh, this is right. Got a nice soft bit, yeah. I'm sure there's a harder bit up there under that wall. All right, let's pop a stake in and bang it down. Right, let's give it a whirl. Here she goes. Going in. Bit more. Still going. Look at that! So if it's a bit softer here as well. Oh, it's not too bad so far. I'm sure we're going to hit a stone in a minute. Then whittling these holes out as if I was with a driver. You know, I'm not going to go over the top with it. Nice. Proper pilot hole. Let's um, bump another one in. Right, so Lee's going to have a go now to see how he gets on with it. Ready? Yeah. So obviously pull the cord and then trigger. On switch. Yeah. Pull the cord, trigger. On top. When you hold on top, there's a bit of a sweet spot there. So don't push down with them. Right. You're sort of holding there steady with a little, little bit of pressure, but you don't push. Right. We'll All try right. It. I'll yeah, let you get we'll on. It. You know, you better have your muffs. I'll let you start out first. Now you're So another day, another test, because Lee has challenged me to see if I can beat a drivel. Well, personally, I think I'm going to be absolutely blooming knackered <laughs> using that thing, but we've made it nice and fair. Right, what we've set up here for James is a 10 post challenge. We've marked all the posts at 18 inches. So James will do the petrol post bumper first, and then we'll reset him all for the drivel. So to start with, James will start on the post, and away we go. When he gets to the mark, I'll give him the thumbs up, and then he can move on to the next post. We're drawing quite a crowd here, as you can see. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't think I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, right. Earmuffs, I suppose. Petrol post driver first. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's see how puffed out I'm going to be out after this. Is it going to be an energy zapper? I don't yeah, know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll count you in. Right then. Three, two, one, go. Set and go again. We're going to take him out now and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm quite impressed with that. It's cold this morning, mate. It is cold. Ground's hard. Ground is hard. I'm very happy with that. Very good. Right. I think that was the easy bit. I think you'll be puffing after the The next hard challenge. bit's coming. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's take him out, put him back in again. Where's the pull cord to, Lee? I've never met anyone who likes using these, ever. <sighs> and I'm no different, if I'm honest. There right. we go. So right. we reset. You can see the holes in front from the time before. So yeah, 10 stakes again. So James, when you're ready, three, two, one, go. Oh, nope. Starting to puff. <laughs> <laughs> Stripping layers down already, look. Oh, it's all part of it. It's hard the gloves. <laughs> Do you want your petrol one back? I only got halfway. <laughs> <sighs> I can see the line. <laughs> He's new there. <laughs> <sighs> he is puffing. Five in. Five to go. <laughs> 
Whose idea was this? <laughs> <sighs> I just stop and put the wire on these first. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> you got a race here in a minute. <laughs> More support coming again behind it. Yeah. <laughs> God, I can't use. Give me a hand. They see how much our bike is, they're running off. They're going on there. Jesus. Nearly can, I those can I use those? Can I use those? I can push them in there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 you make a good gym instructor, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I would say if you've got chance, number six isn't quite straight if you want to have another go. Is that right? <laughs> but I think as you can see, after those ten, I don't think James is uh, quite caught his breath like he has before not fit with the for one. <laughs> I'm not fit for nothing. <laughs> there we go. Right, are you ready to go, James? Yeah, in a minute. Hang on, I'll be there. Right, I'm still out of breath, but we need to round this up. So I'm going to let Lee do most of the talking. But Lee, <laughs> from a farmer's perspective, what's your thoughts? Um, seeing them both in action today... The petrol bump had done everything he was asked of, um, put in the stakes where we wanted to, down to the marks. He's actually easy to handle and easy to use, which is, yeah, any day and age now, if, if you can use something easy and quick, it's definitely a good thing. Um, but yeah, all in all, very impressed with the machine. I guess uh, the anti-vibration. Yeah, I was yeah, really yeah. surprised with that, especially on the longer stretch. <laughs> yeah, you can feel your arms moving, but it's not that initial, you know, vibration I thought we'd get from it. And there's actually a sweet point where you hold in. Yeah. You don't want to be right down, you don't want to be right up, but there is just, you soon find it. It's not a, yeah, you don't think, oh, I'm never going to get there, but actually, yeah, you soon find it and uh, weigh the posts go. Yeah, and if you had a 200 metre stretch of fencing to do, which one would you choose? The driver or the easy petrol post driver? Um, definitely easy petrol post bumper. Definitely. <laughs> I think after seeing how I just done I said, ten. you're out of breath. I think I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the end of using that one in 10 seconds, I wasn't out of breath. I could have carried on. Whereas that, yeah, you know, you've got to stop. Obviously, you wouldn't do 10 that quickly with that one in the first place because, well, I couldn't. No. <laughs> and I'm not exactly unfit, you know. I'm not the fittest, admittedly, but yeah. I'm not unfit. Well, Lee, thank you very much. No problem. Thank I'll leave you, you take these posts out. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll no see you worries. soon. Thank you, bud. <laughs> Cheers. So the Easy Petrol Post Driver, I'm really impressed. It has got so many uses, not just for wooden posts, what we've done today, but the Clipex fencing, metal estate fencing, for scaffold poles, anything cylindrical or angle iron you want to bang in the ground, I think that is absolutely brilliant. And there's nothing that really comes close to it on the market. It's got the Honda engine on it, which is great. It's four stroke, it's nice and easy to start. It's quiet, it's not a cheap two stroke engine. Good bit of quality there. And its build is very well built. The whole structure is very, very well made. So I think if you've got a need for post banging, fencing repairs, bits and pieces around your property, or if you're a business doing, like I said, scaffolding, marquee company, say even tree planting, banging tree stakes, things like that, that is absolutely brilliant. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you machinery videos every Tuesday and Friday. So please click subscribe. And if you like the video, click the like button. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.